Bro, got, he doubled up on him. Gonorrhea and chlamydia. The same time. At the same damn time. At the same damn time. Oh. That's crazy. Bruh. Good, y'all. I got, got. <coughs> I really might have some other stuff, too, because look at my lips. Mm. Mm-hmm. I refuse to let this stop me, though. I understand that I'm the star. Ain't no fucking way, boy. What? Boy, ain't no way, boy. Bro, boy, what? No way, boy. He did not just say what he... Nah, that ain't it, y'all. Listen, man. Uh, he, for a coat. he did not just say what he just can say, bro. He did not just say what he just said, bro. This nigga said, I refuse to let that stop me, bro. Ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. He, 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 he's a special one. He's a special individual right here, bro. He, he, he's special, bro. He's, he's very special. Are we live? We live. Yeah. Okay, so I ain't gonna curse. But these. All right, man. So listen. I don't know who this dude is. I seen it on my uh on my homepage about this dude going into the pan and getting an STD. And like, I found this video that's a little longer, so we're gonna go ahead and watch it. But I don't know. They they saying he's like the freakiest TikToker, the freakiest, like the horniest nigga, sixty nine God. You feel me? So let's go ahead and get into the video, man. Let's get it. I heard Japan was in desperate need for black men. So me being the smart individual that I am, I went and got myself a ticket. I don't usually do stuff like this, but when the government is asking people to come there, why not? And it's really like the perfect time too. Cause what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, it didn't make no sense whatsoever, bro. Cause I was about to go to DR because you know, if you're in a drought and you got zero hoes, the best place to go is the DR or Columbia. <laughs> so instead of going to DR, I figured I would just change my flight and see what Japan's talking about. If y'all want to see that later on, then that's cool. You gotta but go me, there. I'm the type of guy, I'm gonna go get it myself. <laughs> just like Young Thug said, I just needed the platform. This should also be a warning for y'all females yeah, to do a better job. Hey, I could already tell, starting off on this video, this guy is easily, easily impressionable, bro. He believes anything. Anything, bro. Anything. Anything you tell him, hey, bro, uh, the sky is green, bro. For real, that's what that's what they said. The sky was green. So if they tell you that, you got to listen. Like, that's this guy, I'm man. trying to keep her man because give him five reasons on why he shouldn't just up and leave and go to Japan. I don't really know what to expect when I get there. I just hope I can be loved and swarm with Japan ladies. Some lady boys. I hope I can mate with most of them. I might stay there. I might end up staying there. I just want to see if this is actually true. I'm the risk taker. I'm the big dog. You guys want to sit around and he he ha 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 oh my god. You ain't no big dog, nigga. Shut up. You ain't no big dog. I'm a big dog. No, I'm the dog. one that's going to go get it. I'm going to keep you guys updated. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, y'all. So we just dog. touched down in Japan. A few mean stairs. Like, what the fuck are you doing here? But it's all good. We're going to get through it. Real rap. I just woke up, so my sleep schedule is all fucked up right now. But let me tell you guys my experience so far in Japan. After I dropped my bags off in my room and everything, I hopped on the train and I started walking the streets of Tokyo. I'm from Las Vegas and it looks just like Las Vegas, but in Japanese. I found this fire building too. I wish I would've took a Fitbit right here. Okay. I was really I just did, walking around for like Maybe three hours right. using Google Translate to talk to girls and talk to everybody. So I couldn't use my phone that much to record. Look at this beautiful scenery right here. Mwah. That also, is nice. there was a bunch of other tours, so I didn't that feel nice. weird or left out or anything. Uh, but let me tell you guys there. one thing. The racism is definitely there. I had little kids walking up to me talking about, hey, gang, 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 bro. Gang, gang. They was calling me Pop Smoke. They said, Pop Smoke, nigga, nigga. Bro, I swear to God, if I wasn't. <laughs> Pop Smoke, nigga, nigga. <laughs> nah, that's fried, bro. I would be dead. I would be cracking up if I if somebody said that to me. Pop smoke, nigga, nigga. <laughs> I couldn't even be mad at it. I couldn't. By myself, I would have stuffed those kids in the trash can. Also, the lady boys are definitely real. I'm not going to fall for it because I'm a transformer expert. But if you're not on your P's and Q's and you have a little bit too much to drink, you will fall for it. It's kind of funny. Bro, I just thought like about something. I need to get the uh the sound on my, on my stream deck, like the... uh. The Transformer, like Optim Optimus Prime, Autobots roll out. Like I did, I just had a sound of them shifting. That that's hilarious, bro. Whenever you see one, just all right. Stay like, honestly, and it's like texting, so it's way easier. So I really have time to think about what I'm gonna say next. And girls said that they love my accent. I didn't even know I had an accent, bro. This is crazy. 
After I got bored of walking around, I went to the club for a little bit. And it was some weird ass music, but it was still lit. I seen some black guys in there and I was actually really talking no to them. Sense. And they were telling me how like black guys are the main people that the girls are looking for. Now I did score this night after the club, so I'm officially yeah, one a, for that's one. A, that's one I've of been those. here one day. One of them I already things. got a bucket up there. Come on, you see me. I had to get a picture for you guys. I couldn't forget that I'm here for content. I can't be having too much fun. It was great, honestly. Me and her had fun. Oh, wait, no, it's a girl. But it wasn't like I want to start a family type shit. It was more like, oh my God, I see a cute black guy. I want to score. So yes, I'm still on the hunt to breed and make families, but I don't know if they'll take me serious. I guess I got to keep searching. I got to ask around more and I got to talk to the right people. I see a lot of you guys really upset that I'm in Japan right now saying that I'm going to boost the crime rate and stuff like that. Bro, I'm not a crash out. I'm a positive person. I'm cool if you get to know me. And why can't I, I go, go to travel Japan, the world? Bro. Even if but I like, wasn't doing this to breed families. Not on that type of shit. Which I am, know. of course. I still would like to travel the world. That is pretty much all I did, though, for my first day. I was super tired. So I wasn't trying to do too much, you feel me? But I'm going to keep you guys updated. Day number two in Japan. I woke up kind of late, so I knew I had to catch up. So I immediately hopped on Tinder. I told her I came here yesterday, but I'm staying until next Sunday. The tension started building up, and I said I love taking control. <laughs> she said she loves to be fully controlled, so I said, all right, how about whoever finishes first has to pay for our date that we had set up? All they ever use in Japan is WhatsApp or Telegram, so I immediately went to that. Around 5 p.m., she came to my room, and I already scored. Now, I knew I was going to finish first, but it doesn't matter. It's about the tension and the talking. Most of the times, the buildup is better than the actual thing. Like, yeah, this this nigga is he is a he is a freaky ass nigga, sixty nine guy, nigga, bro. As soon as he landed, bro. Hey, come here, come here, come here. Bring it over here. I'm trying to hit. Come on, come on. As soon as he landed, bro, didn't waste no time. As soon as he landed, come over now. Let's go, nigga. I feel you. Like you have to give her a reason to want to come over. So that's why I made it a competition. I'm not gonna lie, I was free balling inside of her. I didn't wear a helmet or anything, <laughs> but she was okay with it. So if she wants to keep it, that's up to her. That was my main goal anyways. I, I wanted I to come no here helmet. and start her family. All right, so after I finished that, I hopped back on the train station. And I started walking the streets again, pulling out my Google Translate. I went inside this very popular club and I met this dude named Evan in like the first 10 minutes. He was also from America and he was telling me that he's been staying here for over a month and a half for free, leeching off other women. After he told me that, it's like my third eye really opened. Like I've really seen a vision and why I was here. He then told me that he knows a better spot. I was kind of in more of a ghetto area. So we hopped on the train and we went to that area. He ended up leaving the club a little bit early because he met somebody and he sent me this. Oh, that's one. That is. Salute to him, man. He's a star player is and he's still a... putting up numbers. I, mean, I can't tell, bro. He said, fuck it. Don't sub me out, coach. I need to get my stats up. I was still at the club and I made the dumbest mistake ever. I put my buffs on in the club. Mind you, this wasn't Tokyo. This was downtown. So like in Cali terms, this was not in LA where all the tourists be. This is Compton in the gutter. I'm not gonna lie, they were dancing. You probably can't see them right now. But as soon as I put them on, the whole energy in the entire club shifted. More females started coming up to me. They told me to come to the back. I was using my Google Translator. Hold on real quick. I'm so sorry. I just can't help to tell you guys that I really put that shit on. It don't matter where I'm going to. I'm going to get fly. But yeah, so the girls were like more on me. And the guys, it was like these four Japanese Why he whispering so fucking much? They were just mean mugging me the whole entire time. Now, they eventually left after like 30 minutes. So I thought they weren't tripping. But after I went home with my girl... Bro, they was outside waiting for me. They started speaking Japan shit, and I think she was telling them Japan to stop. Japan shit is crazy. It's Japanese. No. I could not understand a word that they were saying, but let's just say I sprinted home. I did not take any risk. I was running in these dark neighborhoods. It was super scary, and I wasn't tripping if I didn't leave nobody because I did already score earlier in the day. But yes, the racism and envy is really starting to show. Stay tuned for day number three. Day number three in Japan. Immediately off the wake up, I started farming on Hinge. I was fucking with Tinder, but I couldn't tell if some profiles were fake or not. I met this girl that was half Japanese, half Latino, and she really spoke three different languages. She's from America, but she stays in Japan by herself. So I said, you gotta teach me Spanish so I can talk dirty to you in two different languages. She said, you're a baby, I'm almost 26. So I said, make me grow up then show me what adults do. She stayed in the city that was not too far. I ain't gonna lie, that was a W, uh, W. So I line said, all right, right what day am I coming over? I'll give you home right court there. advantage. 
At first she was hesitant, but I got her phone number and I FaceTimed her and I just slowly broke her down and convinced her. I snuck in a quick picture right before a tip off, pay attention to the handcuffs on the bed. I'm definitely not a baby anymore. After what she did to me, I feel like a whole new man. After that, I had her take me back to my room. I'm paying 1900 for two weeks. It's kind of expensive, but it does come with free breakfast. And I think it's $300,000 in yen. Here is where I met this black girl named Jada walking the streets of Shibuya. She was gorgeous, so I had to approach her. She was a foreign exchange student. She was actually from Chicago. I had to sneak these pictures because I didn't want her to know anything about my journey. But this just shows me that God has a sense she of humor because Chicago. me coming to Japan Kudos, bro. was like my diss track towards black women. And then he hands me the most perfect black woman I can ask for while I'm in Japan. We eventually left to get something to eat. And let me just tell you, I do put that shit on every single time. She took me back to change and she changed at her dorm. Right here though, we went to this small lake in Shibuya. I really hope this doesn't blow up too much because I don't know how she's going to react if she sees this video. Oh, she going to send them niggas from Chicago. Huh, I had bro? to jump in the water. I'm <coughs> sorry. I couldn't help myself. It was just too tempting. I went back home to go shower right quick. And me and Jada went out again to go eat. And let's just say I put that shit on again. <laughs> it's getting out of hand now. I put that shit on. This pretty much sums up day number three. Me and Jada went back home to our spots. We didn't Is that anything, real? That can't be real Hellstar. My I, I, it might be, but I don't, I've never seen Hellstar with all that stuff like that, bro. I don't know. Is that real Hellstar, bro? I'm just not, I'm not like really uh, a brand nigga when it comes to like shirts and shit like that. Like a lot of clothing. I mean, ma mainly just the shoes is what I wear that's name brand and like that. I just be getting shit from like H&M and stuff like that and just putting the outfit together. Like I got this from H&M. It's got a cool little, y'all don't care, but it got a cool little thing on the back, bro. It went, it went with my uh my fit. I had my my uh, green cargo uh pants or whatever. It went with it, but I'm not really into that. But I don't know. Is this is that real? Because my stuff was kind of feeling funny. I don't know if it was an ingrown hair or a razor bump, but I'm going to wait it out a few days. Also, I hear a lot of you guys saying if I get married to a girl in Japan, I can get paid to live here. <laughs> if me and Jada do not work out, I'm probably just going to do that. Also, if you're stationed in Japan and you're in the military, we should link up and I should borrow your military outfit because I heard Japan girls go crazy for a black man in the military. But yeah, stay tuned for day number four. Day number four in Japan. Oh, so off the rip, I immediately woke up to some bullshit. This is the same one from day two, the one I met on Tinder and the one I was free balling inside of. Baby, I'm sure I'm pregnant. I got tested and I'm sure I don't want to abandon my baby because of my religion, but I don't want to Bro. be bullied for giving birth. Why does this sound just like what happened with Fresh or Fresh and Fit, bro? Walter, with that Chinese girl or whatever. It sounds exactly the same. Like, the same verbiage. Baby, I'm sure I'm pregnant. I don't want to abandon a baby because of religion. Like, that's the exact same thing, bro. Giving birth to a black baby. Like, what? The, I'm not even tripping if you have the kid, but now you bring a race into it? Please call me later. I'm calling her bluff on this. Like, in basketball terms, if it's a foul on the play and I'm the coach, I'm challenging the play. Since I had to go through that, I didn't want to stress myself out too much. So I figured I would get out the house and treat myself. Here's what I had for breakfast slash lunch. Man, I'm not can even we get into about... like some drama shit for real? Like, what's the, what's the shits for real? Hold on, what's this? What's going on with this one? Anyways, after that, I went to this little car pop-up show. And some Asian girl approached me. I wasn't even in the right mind space but I still took her under my wing. You guys don't realize how sneaky I have to be when I make these videos. I'm not finna approach them like, oh yeah, I'm on my journey trying to make babies and start families in Japan. I checked up on the homie Evan right quick and he sent me this video. It turns out he didn't even go back to America. He went to another different part of some Asian shit. So yeah, he's living life. I'll tag him <laughs> in the some comments. Asian you guys shit. need to tell him to start making what? content. Here's me in Tokyo with the girl that I met at the car pop up. I'm not showing faces no more because y'all are weirdos. But after we hung out, I took her back to my hotel. We're weirdos. Bro, from what I heard and what I've seen, you're the weird one. You're the weird one, bro. We just haven't seen it yet. And I straight killed her shit. I was low-key doing uh, okay. a little bit too much, but I had so much anger built up. Like, you have to understand me. Uh, yeah, she was lucky I wore a helmet because my stuff was kind of feeling funny still. But if it wasn't feeling funny, I know she would make a great mother. That pretty much wraps up the night. Stay tuned for day number six. Day number six in Japan. I went uh -oh. downstairs for What is that on his lip? What is that? Hold up. Stay tuned for day number six. Day number. 
number six. Yeah, what is that, bro? It's got something going on. I know you got the acting and everything, but you got something going on down there. Bro. In Japan, I went downstairs for some good eats. I'm paying a lot for my hotel, but if I can get this every morning for free, I'm not really tripping. I paid to ride these bikes that they had going on for tourists. It was super fun, but it was super long and hot. I was drained right after this. I took a nap and I woke up super late, so I hopped on Bumble. A lot of people are saying that this is the best app for Japan. I got this one girl's number, so I said, hey. She said, hello, baby. Do you have any black in you? Aha, no, baby, I'm completely Japanese. Do you want black in you tonight? I'm glad to hear that. This translation oh, that was, be inaccurate sometimes, but I think she cringe. said yes, because she put the heart emoji and the eyes emoji. This is proof that Japan is easy. I would not get away with this in America. She told me to bring some rubbers, and I did not have any, so I went downstairs, and this is all they had. So yeah, I cracked her at her place. And at first I had on the rubber, but I took it off. <coughs> and I think it was just so good that she didn't even realize. I made a big mess. Now no, she definitely, my load she definitely knew. into the basket. She definitely and knew. it was on the side of her leg, and Girl she smeared knows. it off. And I think she started cussing me out in Japanese. I don't know what she was saying. I was just sitting there like a sad puppy. I did not know what to say. I was scared. And then she called somebody. I tried to record it a little bit, but I didn't want her to catch me, so I just left it how it was. But yes, I did try to make her a mom, but I got caught up. I should have stayed inside a little bit longer. Stay tuned for day number seven. What? Day seven in Japan. A few days ago, I actually did end up taking this at-home kit to see if I got burnt, but it was too confusing, so I just went to the doctor to get tested. And just like I expected, y'all, I got got. I really might. Bro, hold up. Nigga, nigga. Nigga got doubled up. He doubled up on But him. it was too confusing, so I just went to the doctor to get tested. And just like I expect, Bro, got, he doubled up on him. Gonorrhea and chlamydia. The same time. At the same damn time. At the same, same damn, damn time. time. That's crazy. Bruh. Good, y'all. I got, got. <coughs> I really might have some other stuff, too, because look at my lips. Mm. Mm-hmm. I refuse to let this stop me though. I understand that I'm the star. Ain't no fucking way, boy. What? Boy, ain't no way, boy. Bro, boy, ain't what? No way, boy. He did not just say what he. Nah, that ain't it, y'all. Listen, nah. man. Nah. Fur coat. He did not just say what he just can say, bro. He did not just say what he just said, bro. This nigga said, I refuse to let that stop me, bro. Ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. He he, he's a special one. He's a special individual right here, bro. He he he's special, bro. He's he's very special. I'm the star player, and I'm injured, but I'm still gonna carry the team and put up stats. It's crazy because this is the same day I got burnt, day number two. I was so happy that I took a post game picture. Same girl that tried to pin a baby on me is the same one that burnt me, and she's still blowing up my phone even after I exposed her dumb ass. Hey, I need to understand this. I can have a baby, but I want to get married. First it was, I don't want to have a black baby. And now I want to get married first. I don't want you to go home. Please call me baby. Bruh, leave me alone. I'm not finna be with you. First you burnt me, and then you lied about having a baby. Anyways, back to the streets I go. I stopped at this little store to get some helmets because I'm not freeballing no more. But you know I had to stop and get a little thirst trap for the gram. This time I waited for a Ling Ling to come up to me. It's a thirst trap? Five minute Google Translate conversation. Boom, back to my room just like that. You guys can't even be mad at me at this point. There was a little obstacle during my marathon and I tripped and fell, I ain't gonna lie. But I have to get back up and finish the race. I still got numbers to put up. I'm not going to be here forever, numbers? so I'm still going to have my fun. And like I said, I'm a star player that's injured, <sighs> and my team still needs me. No, you're I'm you're a dumb James player. at 40 years old. My team still needs me. I cannot stop now. Stay tuned for day number eight. Day eight in Japan. I woke up a little depressed because the news I found out yesterday, and it just now hit me in the morning after I slept on it a little bit. I didn't even want to get out the house today, but I'm still going to go lie, hard for y'all. So starting off with some good eats that I had for lunch. I said, fuck it. So I hopped in a taxi and went to the streets of Shibuya, where all the trouble happens. 
Right when I got there, there was some weird parade going on. No, I had to stop and get my thirst trap. That's just mandatory. But I was really a dead man walking the whole entire time. A lot of y'all were saying to pack it up and go home. A lot of y'all were saying I'm the biggest L ever. Like, I was really sad, bro. I didn't talk to nobody. Bro, can he lift the his shirt up? Approaching me, I, was I can't stand on my shit be walking. down like that, I was bro. not in my right element. 30 minutes be before I was about to leave, this girl approached me. And hanging. she asked if I wanted to go to her pool party slash photo shoot. At first, I wasn't convinced, and I thought it was some type of scam. But she showed me her Instagram, and she had 100,000 followers. I'm not showing it to y'all, because y'all fucked up the last girl that I met. At first, I told her no, because I don't have any pool clothes. But she took me back to my room, which wasn't far. It was like 15 minutes away, and I went to change very quick. And she really had a live photo shoot. She was not playing around. Like, this was a real thing. There was all types of people there. I was networking, and a couple of people actually said that they see my series, and they said they love it. So thank you to y'all. So yeah, I was a little lit. I had the munchies and there was hella food there. It went on until 2 a.m. and eventually everybody started fading what away, everybody left. And it was just me alone at her house. So she asked me if I wanted to have a good time. And me being my weak-minded self, of course I said yes. And then the conversation started to get a little weird, a little deeper, and she asked if I had any kinks. I said, not that I know of. She said she had a special surprise for me. So she took me to this place and she said, pick whichever one I want. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I was looking for like 10 minutes and I seen a little schoolgirl outfit with a skirt. So I grabbed that motherfucker, I said, here, this is the one. But then the weirdest thing happened right when it was about to get good, bro. I kid you not, I could not get up. I don't know what was wrong with me. This never happened to me ever. I never had this problem. I've always been young and full of testosterone. I don't know if it was the role play. I don't know if it's cause I got burnt. I don't know, but it was just so hey, frustrating got PTSD. and I ended up just going <laughs> home and I sent her this message. She said, don't feel stressed about it. I hope to see you soon. I don't know, man. I understand every star player has a bad game, but this was not good for me at all. This really messed with my confidence and my mental. But let me know where I should go next after I'm done with Japan. And let me know if I should go live or make YouTube or a Twitch or anything like that. I read every single comment. Stay tuned. Day nine in Japan. Woke up pretty late, so I immediately texted the model that I met last night. I said, good I afternoon, lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't care about nothing else, honestly. He he already said what he said. Wait, what was this? What was this? I put my shirt on, but some law enforcement approached me. Yeah, I'm not watching the rest of this. <clears throat> yeah, he's a freaky-ass nigga, 69 guy, bro. Freaky-ass nigga. Freaky-ass nigga, bro. In Japan, bro. Hey man, that's the video, man. I'll catch y'all next time, bro. My nigga. <laughs>